guys, welcome back. Just getting ready to play some more Kill Zone. It's going to be part two of the series. Hope you guys are all doing well. Oh, man. One thing I always hate about the PS3 is the load times. Like, ugh. Come on. Oh, no. Thought it was done. Yeah, so I'm playing a little bit late tonight. Uh, it's about 1 o'clock in the morning here. Or about, uh, was it 1? Yeah, about 1 o'clock. So, don't know. It's all, I'm probably not going to be posting these tonight. Oh, something's happening. Ooh, our guys are getting hammered out there. Sam, Gerson, convoy stall. We're under fire. Clear out those RPGs in the tower. You got it, boy. So yeah, hope you guys are all doing okay. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting the videos out as uh, quickly as I'd like them to be. Um, playing them and recording them is not necessarily the issue. The biggest issue I'm having is actually trying to get them onto YouTube. When I post or when I finish, excuse me, when I upload and edit and trim the videos so that it's neat, clean, and everything for you guys. Uh, it YouTube just takes a really, really, really long time. It takes about 45 minutes to process, then usually like an hour or so to actually upload the video. And that won't include the edited versions of... Can I hop on this? Sweet. The edited version of the video. So, I'm just... I'm, I'm, it is still kind of new to me, so I am learning the ropes on YouTube and as well as the recording. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, I thought he was still alive. Uh, still new to the recording of features and editing features of the program for uh, the recording program that I'm actually using and the program on YouTube, the little creation tool that they give you for editing and trimming videos, um, as well as adding audio captions and everything. So, but yeah, so, oh, uh oh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, where do we gotta go here? <clears throat> There's a ladder over here. Oh, I don't. Is that was that it? Oh, all right. Whoops. So, but yeah, there's a uh, couple. One thing I wanted to bring up today. I don't know uh, for those of you who watch Family Guy. Um, oh, what? Oh. For those of you who watch Family Guy, if you guys have seen the latest episode where they kill off Brian Griffin, of all people, and the way they do it is just, I don't know, I, I, I didn't like the episode. It was sort of just a, let's make an episode to show him dying and introducing a new character. That was just, that was the whole thing. It wasn't like a funny episode. They didn't do anything together. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, Sort of a spoiler warning. Um, skip ahead a couple minutes, or I'll put uh, I'll put I'll put it in the description or something. But um, yeah, he basically Stewie and Brian are out getting chased by Native Americans, and then you find out that Stewie actually gave the guns to the natives back in like the 1700s or something. Uh, screws up the whole timeline, they end up going back. Uh, after their uh, near-death experience, what ends up happening is... Oh, I gotta go. Well, yeah, they're telling me to go here, but not telling me, not giving me anything. Um, after a near-death experience, what ends up happening is... Brian, or, excuse me, Stewie, goes in and destroys his time machine. And he basically just tells Brian, no, you know, it's all because of... Can I destroy it? Okay. <clears throat> um, there, he's destroying it just because it's 
caused too many near-death experiences, it's caused nothing but problems, it's a hassle, so he destroys it. Well, they go to the dumpster and crush it, and what ends up happening is Brian finds a, like a little child's goalpost. And are like, oh, okay, that's cool. They go out and they play street hockey, and in literally, this is all literally in the first seven minutes of the episode, and about seven minutes in, he Brian is setting up the uh, little like the goalposts so they can play street hockey for a random car. It looks like a Prius. There's someone's driving Brian's car. Comes zipping around the corner for no reason and just runs Brian over. Like literally, just under the car, shoots him out both from uh, both under both of the tires. And it's just, uh, it's just not cool. Like seriously. No, oh, an artillery strike. Oh, so. Well, I don't know what you want me to do. Uh, and he just gets run over by the car, and he's ju he's there's no way he's gonna survive. I know a squirrel comes over that they've seen in the last couple episodes. Uh, and just comes over and. Just Right, kicks him right in the face after he just got ran over by a car. And he's oh, he that guy was that guy was a dick or he sucked. It's like so Brian gets smoked by a car, shot out, run over from underneath both the tires. A squirrel comes over, kicks him in the face, and basically they they go to the vet and he says, yeah, he's gonna die. And the only th line that Brian pretty much has is, you made my life awesome. I love you. Boom, dead, just like that, right on the table month later and they're all like oh yeah we should totally get a new dog it's just not right without having one so Stewie's kind of like oh well what the hell like why would we want to go get another dog like Brian was my best friend why would we go do that so they go to the pet store and they're like oh one why wonder how we choose a pet oh of course the one that they're gonna choose is oh, a dog that talks uh, his name is Vinny that's the dog's name, right and he talks Square. for some reason, and I believe he's voiced uh, as the voice actor who plays him is one of the main guys from the Sopranos TV series, I think it was, Captain and Norwell it's just they just sort of throw him in there. Convoy's taking a real hammering. Bizarre Square, yippity fucking do da. <laughs> Good to go. I never saw anything like it before. Huh. You don't say. All I know is Norville's a piece of work. If he's in trouble, things are really heating up. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, and they find this talking dog named Vinny, and they just sort of throw him in. They're like, oh, everyone loves him. He's a nice guy. He's drinking beers with Peter. He's making dinner and letting Lois relax. He's, you know, make, coming up with nicknames for Chris. He's helping out Meg. And the only person who doesn't like him is Stewie. So he kind of tries getting rid of him. And it's okay. It doesn't really work out. And then Vinny goes up and he has like a heart to heart with them. And then, boom, just like that, they're best friends. And that's it. It's like, what the hell? I don't know. What what do you guys think? For those of you who do watch it, do you think it was the right choice killing off Brian? Did you like him? Are you upset about it? Are you sort of indifferent to it? Do you even like the new Vinny or the new dog? Like, I want to know your opinions. If you guys just want to put your opinions in the comment section below, I'd love to check them over. Oh, no you're not. You're not assisting anyone now. Man, they got some nasty weather down on Hellgast. Or Hellgat, excuse me. Oh, we're gonna get hate for that now. Oh <coughs> No kidding. <laughs> Two people. Go! 
go, 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 all right, we have ten guys with us. What are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna go stand out here and die. And you two people are the only ones that are go kill everyone from here, up until you know the lightning towers and all the machines up there. You gotta kill everyone on the elevator. You gotta find a way to stop that lightning tower. And we're just sort of get stay down here and get shot at. So good luck to you, and we'll hopefully not die when you back get back. Put a D charge. All right. Hold up. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. A little bit of six-axis controller right there for you. Boom. Blow, blow the door. Better get back here. You never know how far these things are going to blow. Ah, Clink. Boom. Let's go, Seb. Whoa. Still kind of oh, weird getting used to the controls. Like, not necessarily the controls. The controls I get. Sweet. Uh, the controls I do get, it's just, I don't know, the the weight of behind the character when you spin uh, the analog stick to look, like it just feels, it feels heavy. Like in Call of Duty or Battlefield, you just sort of, you turn, you turn, feels pretty light when you actually do that or when you're moving your character, but it actually has weight to this character, which is, I mean, pretty good. I mean, it feels a little bit more immersive. Like, when you're playing Call of Duty or something, you're just sort of running, you have, you, you have like, a character made of air. Except when you're sprinting, because for some reason, your guy is always, like, I don't know if he's fat or out of shape, but every character you play sprints for about three seconds, and then you can't run, you can't jog, you can't sprint, and you just sit there and you get your ass killed. Oh. Alright, working on it, working on it. Oh, I can't see. Grenade! Exterminate the vermin! Exterminate the vermin! Oh my god, it's Arnold! Oh crap. One, two, three, boom, and chink! Ah, oh, they threw a grenade back at me. Uh oh, uh, there we go. One thing I keep forgetting is the crouch button. It's the, le uh, it's the left trigger, or L2. That's one thing that throws me off. Other than that, the game actually is pretty cool. Handles very well. Oh, oh I missed. Come here. Grenade! Clink! Whoa. Oh, dude, what are you doing in my way? Get, get the hell out of my way. We're into cover. Something. You're getting getting shot at. Oh, now I have to save your ass. Hang on. Boonk. Zap him with like a taser. Oh, face plant. That's right. Teabag him. I don't know why he was doing that, but alright. Oh, in the face. Just to a double tap. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Because I'm being stupid. I don't even know where he's actually shooting me from. Where's he shooting me from? He's not up there. He's not down here. Maybe the guy got him. Huh. All right, whatever, whatever works. At least it's gonna be around here. Ooh -ha! No, nothing. Oh. <laughs> Throw a couple in there just for good measure. You, uh, you gonna stay in there? Okay, there you go. Boink. Oh man, I'm uh, huh, I gotta say, I'm pretty excited about the Black Friday sales coming up. Uh, I don't know if anyone else gets, uh, usually does the Black Friday sales, or if you guys are even interested in them, or what kind of games you're gonna be getting. Uh oh. Toss another nade down there. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I'm up in Canada, so I don't know if it's different, uh, uh like a different sale or on different days than it would be in the US. But we have, down here in the EB Games, we have 
Ooh, I think we have uh, we have Metro Last Light on sale, which is I'm gonna buy. Bioshock Infinite, which I'm gonna buy. Um, oh man, what else do we got? Uh, Far Cry 3, which I'm probably gonna buy again. I mean, I I played it before, but I would actually love to have it on my channel f uh, for you guys to see. I generally play uh, it games like that in a stealthy manner. So I don't usually run and gun or jump out and just murder everyone or try to get my ass handed to me. I usually take a stealth Watch approach to it, so place is it usually is a little bit slower. But sometimes, I mean, if I could have recorded the gameplay of when I was playing Far Cry 3 when it first came out, whew, that was like, that was just, it was started. awesome. Like, I, there was this one part, I, it was usually later in the game. Um, what ended up happening was I was taking over all of the little mini bases that they had and <coughs> I ended up dropping down there was a couple of tankers and got like guys with flamethrowers and you had like the ha or the heavies I guess it would be called and then uh, you had like 10 to 15 little guys uh, and, like snipers and just guys with automatics and stuff and I, I ended up sneaking into uh, a little hut drop down cut or stabbed one guy in the back used a little technique and threw a knife at another guy kicked the guy with the grenade blew up three guys whipped out a sniper rifle with the silencer on killed three of the snipers and then I ended up uh, stabbing the last three or four guys, one right after the other, because uh, since it was later in the game and I usually took the stealthy approach, what I ended up doing was I just invested all my uh, talent points into like backstabbing with dual knives or killing people off ledges and stuff. And it was just, I, it, oh man, it was, it was fun. It was awesome. That big guy wasn't actually too tough. I thought it was going to be a lot tougher than that. I'm only playing on normal, but I figured it would be a little bit tougher. But yeah, there's a couple of games I'd like to I'd like to try out. Like, I wouldn't mind trying um, Outlast. I mean, I I enjoy watching scarier, uh, scary games more so than I enjoy playing them. Uh, just, I don't know, just because... I, mean, I enjoy scary games, but it's difficult to play them. Like, I'm not like some people. They're like, oh, man, you know, this is pretty scary, but it's fun. And, you know, I'm not really that scared. It's just jumpy sometimes. For me, I'm kind of like, oh, shit. Like, I'm just, I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, something's going to pop out. Something's going to kill me. Something's going to just massacre me or pop out and jump scare me. or ju Just the atmosphere alone usually gets to me. And it's just, I can play it, but not in full sittings like some other people. Like, uh, one of my favorite guys to uh, watch walkthroughs is actually The Rad Brad. I don't know if you guys uh, have seen any of his walkthroughs or not, but they're actually really enjoyable. I started watching it uh, uh, during his... I think when his channel pretty much first came out, he played Amnesia The Dark Descent, and that was close to when the game actually came out. And I was trying to find out if it was worth the buy, how scary it was, and just like general reactions to the video or the game itself. And it was it was pretty good, and I ended up finding him, and he did a walkthrough of it. I think it was like 41 parts. And it was, and he did some DLC to it, I believe. Like I think there was Justine DLC or something, and a couple of custom-made uh, storylines from fans uh, who uploaded it onto the internet. And it was, I watched it, and he was actually really good. So I continued watching. I watched Dead Space, and I subscribed, and I ended up watching pretty much all of his videos. Um, and. I, 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 I enjoyed his videos a lot, and I actually, that was another one of the reasons why I actually wanted to join up on YouTube and actually record my gameplay. The biggest thing was I wanted to do it because that's, I've wanted to do it for many years now, and I've just never been able to 
actually record my gameplay. Like, there was a couple of things. Like, you could record your PC gameplay with Fraps, uh, or a soft program called Fraps, which would record your PC gameplay uh, pretty smoothly. But you needed a decent computer to actually do it, and you needed the money to buy the software. I couldn't do that. Uh, and I'm only running on a laptop. I don't actually have a desktop PC, so... I know, I know, I know. I gotta get to the Arc Tower. But, yeah, so... I, I just couldn't... I didn't have the time. I was usually in school. <coughs> and then... There wasn't really any programs you could use, that I knew of anyway, that would actually enable you to record your gameplay smoothly and simply. I actually went out and I got a little system called the Elgato Gaming... Or, I guess it would be the Elgato Game Capture HD. And it's literally all about simplicity and being able to record pretty much everything and everything. So you can record like your Super Nintendo, you can record your PS3, your PS4, your Xbox One. Uh, I believe you can record your PC gameplay with it, but it's probably easier to just use the FRAP software. Um, you can even record, uh, to my knowledge, you can record GameCube games, pretty much anything that uses component cables, uh, the PS3 cable, or an HDMI. And you can adjust accordingly to which kind of quality you want. If you want high quality, or if it's like if it's 720, or if it's 1080, or if you want it to be 480, or 240, I think it is. Um, as long as it works with the component cables, you're pretty much good, which is, I think, is awesome. So, I'm not 100% sure yet, uh, but I wouldn't actually mind playing Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time and posting on my YouTube channel. Um, it would be in parts and, well, obviously, uh, I know a couple people have actually posted it in, like, one sitting on, like, a four-hour YouTube video, and I really don't want to do that. Um... But yeah, it'll probably be, it won't be as regular as the videos I'm doing now. But I would definitely like to actually post like a Zelda, like a classic game onto my channel. Something like Zelda Ocarina of Time or uh, I got the Wii so I might play like Skyward Sword and do a walkthrough for you guys on that. Um, the Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4 and PS3. Uh, will probably will still be my main source for video Seth, game series. You want to call the elevator? Um, I take the but I definitely, I'm definitely, i definitely going to think about no. doing a Wii uh, or I Super Nintendo or Nintendo 64 anyhow. game. Uh, though it probably like won't be with commentary, like or at least not an, on every off. video. Um, uh, so, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure yet. And I'm not sure which Zelda or which Mario game I would do or anything. Come on, man, get out of my man, way. Look at that thing. But it will uh, it'll definitely be on my channel sometime. I don't not immediately though, because I'm just starting out and I don't want to have six or seven games going on at once. It gets a little hectic. Hey guys. Okay, you just jump over that fence. And there's a scraggler. Here, come on, buddy. Come on. No, you don't want a hand? Well, Alrighty then. Oh man. Everybody get down! Oh my god. I'm getting shot at. I better blow up this barrel. Too many bad experiences with explosive barrels not going off and going off only when I'm around them. Mow them down! Mow them down! Oh, come on. Kill five Hellgast in 15 seconds. I gotta say, it's weird earning trophies and not achievements. I mean, technically they're the same thing, but I mean... Oh. I don't know. It, it's Sometimes it's more satisfying to hear that Xbox 360. But at the same time, the PS3, uh, the PS3 trophy system, just when you hear that clean, crisp... It's just... I don't know. I like it. I like the idea of uh, earning achievements and trophies. <coughs> oh. 
Get down! Get down! Stop resisting arrest! Oh, too late for him. Come on. Pop up. Pop up. Pop up. You know what? I'm just gonna go over and shoot you in the face. Or pistol whip you! Where'd you go? Oh! Oh! What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Shoot you! Shoot you! Stop resisting arrest! Stop resist- Wow, I hit him so hard with the pistol I blew his freaking helmet off. Serves you right, brah. Boom! But yeah, Black on Black Friday, I, uh, probably gonna do, I don't know, Bioshock Infinite, or, uh, oh, what was, oh, I forgot the other game now. Oh, Metro Last Light 2033. So, I'll probably, I don't know if I want to do the first one for the Metro, and then play Last Light, or if I'm gonna just gonna sort of do it in reverse order. Um, man, there's just, it, it, that's the problem starting off. Well, starting off a YouTube channel a little bit late like I'm starting it and the next gen and I mean like all the games have been played and done already and I, I don't have the next gen because I can't afford the next gen right now at least until after Christmas um, <laughs> and I'm, I don't know I'm just gonna be behind on all those games too so I'm, I'm mind you I play quite a lot when I do actually have the time I'm generally free on the weekends since I work uh, Sunday to Thursday at 10.30 to 7 are my hours. At least for the time being. Like, I may change it. Uh, it depends on when I get my position changed. Um, oh, come on, man. Oh. But, yeah, so I generally have, like, Friday, Saturday off. And I'm usually off or at least uh, Thursday. So, that gives me a lot of chance to... Get, a lot, get most of my stuff done, especially get a lot of the videos out of the way. Not so much of actually posting them online, because it does take a while. I really wish YouTube would fix that. Or Google, I guess, I would, since they're both sort of links. Um, but, yeah, other than that, it's, uh... Uh-oh. Okay, where... Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So well, this is about a 30 minute video right now, so I'm probably just gonna end up cutting this video now. So I will see you in the next part.